Hello there, welcome to this edition of Newsline. It's Monday, June 7th in Tokyo. I'm Catherine Kobayashi with your updates. At Shanghai's 2010 World Expo, the work of a renowned Japanese art director won the hearts of fairgoers. 59-year-old Koji Mizutani thrilled the audience with a work that highlights its current theme, Pictures of People's Smiles. NHK World's Yuko Aotani spoke with the artist. At one of the locations, he produced a memorable performance. A hundred umbrellas opened. And to the delight of the audience, this is what they saw. So, Mr. Mistani, what kind of reaction did your umbrellas get at the Shanghai Expo? The umbrella project was really popular in Shanghai. When the umbrellas opened, they excited people, and soon swarms of them had gathered around the umbrellas. I had taken the pictures of smiling children in disaster areas in Sichuan, Banda Aceh in Indonesia, and Kobe. At the expo, I really felt we had created a microcosm of world peace. We made the earth a merry place. That made me the happiest man there. Mizutani began his so-called Merry project in 1999. He asked a simple question, what is Merry for you? Since then, he's collected over 30,000 smiles and messages from 26 countries. Visitors to the Aichi Expo in 2005 and the Beijing Olympics in 2008 saw Mizutani's photos. Not many know that Mizutani pays for the project out of his own pocket. In fact, he's invested a major part of his earnings. And Mr. Mizutani, you take smiles of all these children by yourself. What made you want to photograph these children in difficult situations? Well, my father had a hearing disability from the war, so ever since I was three years old I went with him, like on doctor's visits, so I could act as his ears. During those times, I felt that when I grew up, I wanted to make the world a better place or do something to make people happier. I thought that the world needed to change. When I saw children in South Africa, it reminded me that as a three-year-old, I'd known a sadness similar to theirs. It overlapped with my experience. My desire to make these children merry reminded me of my childhood wish to be happy. It was that kind of experience that made me realize that I should be making designs with these children's smiles. Wasn't it difficult to make them smile? You may think that children from Sichuan in China or Banda Aceh in Indonesia are incapable of smiling, but the truth is, it's the children who've seen the worst devastation, who are capable of genuine smiles. Their smiles are filled with so much hope. For every negative in our lives, there's a positive. Humans have a tremendous amount of strength and vitality. What I learned from traveling around the world is that the tougher the situation the child is going through, the stronger and more beautiful their smile. So, I actually get worried when I see children from wealthy countries, like Japan. So what made you want to organize this project at your own expense? During one of my shoots, I asked a child what did Mary mean to her. She replied that she had never really smiled before and had never thought about it. But on that day, she could really smile and she said for her, Mary meant me, Mizutani. Suddenly, I realized that there was nothing more precious than her reply. I've designed things that paid me well, and I've made designs that have won awards. But when I heard her words, it validated what I've been trying to accomplish all my life. I want to be a kind of smile designer, and I want to keep bringing happiness and merriment to people's lives, to society, and to the world. 
As a smile designer, I truly believe that smiles have the power to bring about peace on earth and to solve many of our problems. That was Koji Mizutani speaking with NHK World's Yuko Altani.